Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Jamar from Vegas Scents, and in this video, I'm giving you all my top five fragrances that I have in my collection anyway that I feel like are the closest clones to the originals. Uh, so this is going to be something that I'm going to try to at least push out to you all, at least on a monthly basis, whether it be top five, top seven, top ten, uh, whatever it is, whichever clones that I feel like that I get in, you know, to review, whichever ones I feel like are going to be closest to the original, I'll definitely try to put together a list for you all uh, so that you all can definitely stay, you know, informed in regards to which, you know, of these clones that I actually review are the closest to the original. All right. So if you're new to this channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also to anyone watching, leave a like and a comment below. All right. So just to get straight into the video, uh, I've, I've had this fragrance for quite a while now, um, at least several months anyway, and I haven't really done a comparison video on this fragrance as of yet, uh, but I do plan to get one out there for you all. This is going to be from the house of Alexandria Fragrances, and this is their take on Angel Share. This is Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. All right. So Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, uh, from what I've you know gathered from this particular fragrance after sort of testing it out and you know wearing it side by side with Angel Share, I do believe that this is at least about ninety five percent close to uh, by Killian's Angel Share. Um, this definitely, it gets the, you know, sort of boozy, uh, apple cinnamon like opening that you get with Angel Share. It, it definitely, in my opinion, does it the best out of all of the Angel Shares, you know, Angel Share clones that I've smelled so far. Now, I mean, obviously I haven't smelled every single one, but you know, so far out of all of the ones that I've smelled, I feel like the Alexandria version, it does do... Uh, the best job in terms of, you know, recreating that smell. Uh, it also has pretty good performance it, as well. Um, this, at least on my skin, it does have pretty good projection. I have also smelled the Fire Your Desire uh, by, I believe that's Paris Corner. That does smell close to Angel Shear, uh, definitely closer than Camera. But the only thing with that one is it's a little bit more sweeter, in my opinion, and the projection on it is pretty trash. So at least with the Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, you're getting very close accuracy and you're also getting uh, pretty good performance as well. So again, this is Brooklyn Fragrance Lover by Alexandria Fragrances. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is going to be from the house of Mason Alhambra. This is their take on Carolina Herrera's uh, Saffron Lazuli, and this is Exclusive Saffron. All right, so Exclusive Saffron, uh, at least, I mean, to my nose, I would have to say that this is at least about 97 plus percent close to uh, Saffron Lazuli. Uh, the main difference that I get with this particular fragrance is it just comes off as being slightly more stronger in terms of like the projection. Uh, but, you know, in terms of like the smell and the blend quality and stuff like that, uh, this is pretty much identical to Saffron Lazuli, at least from, you know, what I've gathered from this particular fragrance. Um, yeah, I mean, I pretty much what you get when you first spray this on is it's almost sort of like a, a leathery sort of boozy uh sort of saffron note that you get from this and i mean at times this kind of has like a almost sort of like a gasoline type of smell to it at least that's what i pick up on from this particular fragrance uh this is definitely something that i think is best suited more so kind of like for formal events or you know I, I also I stated in previous videos that I do think that this is a good work scent but I think that you know if you're gonna wear this to work you this is more so for the person that's like the supervisor or you know the director manager that's more so who I see wearing this particular fragrance um, but yeah man overall in terms of the closeness of smell to the original, like I said, I definitely give this at least, you know, about a 97% close rating to the original Saffron Lazuli. 
And I mean, for the price that you can get this for, especially if you can find this on Fragrance Buy, uh, typically it is sold out there on fragrancebuy.ca, but if you can find it there, this goes for like $16 and some change, I believe, before shipping. So still under $30 once you factor shipping in more than likely. I think that's absolutely worth it for the quality that this smells of, um, you know, especially when compared to the original. So definitely take a look at this one. This is Exclusive Saffron by Mason Alhambra. So the next one up is going to be from the House of Fragrance World, and this is going to be their take on Parfum de Marly's Setley, and this is Posh Serious, all right? So this Posh Serious, I mean, for the most part, this is at least, I would say, about 95 to 97% close to Parfum's de Marly Setley. Uh, I mean, really, the main difference that I would say that you get with this is um, it's definitely, it's a lot stronger than what Setley is for sure. This projects much louder than Setley. It lasts a lot longer. Um, and I would say at least within probably like the first, maybe let's say 20 to 30 minutes or so, uh, the sort of mint and citrus, the mint and citruses in my opinion are definitely amped up a, a lot more than what they are in Setley. But overall in terms of just the, the overall sort of scent profile this is still extremely close to setley it's just more of sort of like a intense or amplified version of setley which i'm sure a lot of people were, are probably looking for that um because i mean at least on me setley i got about maybe about five to five and a half hours or so of total longevity with setley with this one, this is going to be at least about, you know, eight and a half to nine plus hours of total longevity, at least on skin and, you know, definitely a lot longer uh, when sprayed on clothes. All right. So, again, if you're looking for, uh, you know, I would say a really accurate and, you know, high performing Setley clone, check this one out for sure, man. This is Posh Serious by Fragrance World. All right, next fragrance up. This is also from the house of uh, Fragrance World. This is a part of their F.A. Paris line. This is their take on BDK's Gris Charnel, and this is Francique 63.55. So at least from what I've smelled, you know, just, you know, kind of wearing these two side by side, uh, this is at least about, I would say, 95 to 97% close. Uh, the only main difference that I really pick up on is like in the immediate opening when you first spray the two on. Uh, in my opinion, the, the cardamom, it definitely it comes off as smelling a little bit more sort of higher quality than what the Francique does. Um, but I mean, other than that, there's really no other sort of quality difference and i mean as a matter of fact this actually this definitely it performs better than uh what the bdk does uh the bdk is a pretty average performer on me i mean it's not it's not terrible but uh the francique i definitely get a lot longer projection out of the francique um, and definitely I get a lot more, uh, you know, just overall sort of longevity from the Francique as well. This is at least, I would say about a, a 10 to 12 plus hour fragrance, you know, on skin. Uh, so definitely, you know, you're going to get even longer than that if you spray this on your clothes. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, a really good performing sort of Gris Charnel clone, this is absolutely the one to pick up. Also, I really love the bottle presentation as well. This is really, really nice. So again, check this one out. This is Francic 63.55. All right, and so the last fragrance up, this is also gonna be from uh, the F.A. Paris Fragrance World line. This is also another Francic fragrance, and this is their take on Rouge Smoking, and this is Francic 107.9. All right. So 107.9, this is, I would say, as close as you can get to like a one-to-one, -one, you know, exact clone of a fragrance. 
Um, the only other fragrance that I have in my collection that I would say probably comes closer to the point where, you know, you literally can't tell any sort of difference at any stage of the fragrance would be the Porto Neroli when compared to Neroli Portofino. But after that, I would say it would be this one. Uh, this, for the most part, I mean, the only sort of difference that I was able to really pick up is in the immediate opening when you first spray this on and, you know, you spray it side by side with the, uh, the BDK Rue Smoking. The cherry note in the Rue Smoking, I mean, it just smells just ever so slightly more higher quality, more natural. Uh, but I mean, that's something that really, you're only able to pick that up for, I would say probably like the first 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, and then after that, for like the entire life of the fragrance, it smells identical to Rue Smoking. Uh, the main difference though is, is you get longer projection and you also, you get uh, much longer, you know, longevity out of this one. Uh, Rue smoking is more so kind of like a, like four to five hour or so fragrance in terms of like total longevity. This is going to be like 12 plus. All right. So if you love the, the scent of Rue smoking, uh, but you know, you hate having to just constantly have to reapply that particular fragrance then I think that this is absolutely going to be one that you'll want to pick up. Uh, like I said, other than that, you know, immediate opening uh, with that cherry note, that's really, that's the only difference that I pick up. And it's not really even a, a noticeable difference in the air. It's something that you have to smell the two up close side by side to really be able to tell. So again, I would definitely recommend this one, and this is Friendseek 107.9. So definitely let me know what you all thought of this particular list. Also, have you all smelled any of these clones? And if you have, have you, all, have you also smelled the originals uh, as well? And how close do you think that these clones come to the original fragrance, all right? So let me know in the comments. And once again, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And once again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see you on the next video.